the Nebraska offense trying to hope that somebody will make a play on defense. From the gun at the 45. Minute and a half to go. Nebraska trails by a touchdown. The out complete and out of bounds at midfield goes Billy Hafke. And the little used senior has been used a lot today due to injury situations. Remember, they're without Lance Brown, their normal wing back, who's Kenny, been out basically all year. Kenny and then Kenny Cheatham right. out two weeks with a bad shoulder. And now we got a penalty. I think, I think that was an illegal chop play, I think, at the end of the line of scrimmage that time that really got Bobby outside the pocket. So instead of a second down and five at midfield, on the end man that time, we got to hold him. Holding on the offense, 10-yard penalty, spot of the foul, and he first down. So the spot of the foul, and it backs it all the way up to the 32-yard line. They lost 18 yards on what could have been. Sheldon Jackson, the tight end's back in there. He's been quiet all day long. They'll keep it on the ground. Out to the 40 goes D'Angelo Evans, but the clock down to 115. One group hustles out. The wide receiving core hustles back in. Time running out on second-ranked Nebraska. Second and 15. Nukem has it tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Chris Terry got a hand on it. And the ball game might come down to two plays right here. Third and 15 coming up. Won't be many more rushing plays added on to that one unless Bobby Newcomb scrambles from here on in. You called the two plays, still plenty of time. It's yardage now, not the clock that's a factor. Newcomb, all day to throw, deep. Intercepted, picked off by Cedric Curry. And the Aggies are going to stop the longest winning streak in college football. And we'll have a new national champion as well, more than likely. Bobby Newcomb is saying that Billy Hafke, you said it, he has not had his receivers out there, no experience. A seldom used receiver didn't stop in the zone. See it how he overran the zone? Newcomb threw exactly where he wanted to. Here's the opening right there. Watch the receiver overrun it. You're open, you're open. Stop, son. There it is. He overran the zone. The ball had to be thrown to a spot. And there's the big pickoff by Cedric Curry. First turnover suffered by Nebraska <laughs> couldn't have come at a worse time. Not much more gray hair is possible for <laughs> RC, but if it is, he's going to throw a few today. Nebraska can only stop it one more time. McCown <laughs> takes a knee. The last time a team this highly ranked came into Kyle Field was 15 years ago, and hated Texas came in here and walked all over A&M 45 to 13. The last time A&M Beat a top five team. It's been a long time, but there's one coming right now. One more look. You'll see the opening right here. The receiver will just keep drifting. Bobby Newcomb sees the opening at the same time. He says, stop, stop, stop. There's the opening right there. If your receiver would have hooked, you had a completion. The ball is thrown. The defensive back is watching the quarterback. And that would have been a first down, and we'd still be sitting around here biting nails. Obviously, North Carolina State's upset of Florida State this year. Open some eyes. This is going to open a few more. We've got 48 seconds left, and number 18 is about set to move up on the scale of top 25. And number two is about to fall for the first time in their last 20 games. When you're an option team and a running team and you can't run the ball, you're very fortunate to be able to come in the last drive and have a chance to do it. Nebraska had a chance to tie this game up, but a misplay, probably because of lack of receivers experienced in the offense, cost them. Kevin Wiggins trying to console his quarterback. This, no doubt, has to be the biggest win in R.C. Slocum's career. 48 seconds left. The fans can't wait to erupt one more time. 
They'll get their chance here in about a half minute. And this will change everything for that ball championship series. As you mentioned, I don't think there's any way Nebraska can climb their way back up and get into the Fiesta Bowl. Time for R.C. to get a shower. <laughs> and that's probably the best ice he's ever felt down the back of his neck. Dat Wynn is the guy that got him. Dat finally made his big play. <laughs> is a big upset. AM shocks number two Nebraska. First loss suffered by Frank Solich. As Gary said, probably RC Slocum's biggest win ever. week long Texas A&M staff has told us this year our guys are not intimidated by Nebraska like they were last December in San Antonio and boy were they right well after you play Florida State and UCLA and Nebraska in the past you just step up or you find a new job and the A&M players said hey we can compete against these guys they matched Nebraska's initial intensity they focused on the game. They beat Nebraska at their own game. The Chevrolet most valuable players of this one. And there could have been a bunch picked for Texas A&M. We chose the big fullback, the big rumble, Jamar Toombs. Matt Davison, a huge game in his first start at wide receiver for Nebraska. A Chevrolet donation will be made to each school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students for their academic achievements and to assist those in financial need. It's been a Chevrolet tradition for more than a quarter century. It's been almost a quarter century since the home of the 12th man has felt this good about this big a win. The final score, the Aggies of Texas A&M, 28. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska, 21. And the number two team in the country has been shocked here in College Station today. And when you measure Nebraska, they don't accept much less than national championships. That was a bunch of cold water in their face today also. history with his biggest win ever right here. The Aggies with the upset 28-21 for Gary Danielson, Brad Nessler, so long from Kyle Field. Less crime is no accident. Mentoring, job training, counseling, these kinds of programs are keeping kids away from crime. Look around. Kids involved in these programs are staying out of trouble. It takes you and programs that work. Call 1-800-WE-PREVENT for a free booklet and help take a bite out of crime. There's something... I think you should... George! ...very frightening... So what's the deal? ...on the practice. <laughs> what? And it's so shocking... What's the matter? You won't believe it. Oh. But we can't. Let it out of the bag. Oh, God! Emmy winner, best drama, all new practice, ABC Sunday. Chevy is rolling and leading the way is Mack Hike Chevrolet. Hundreds of new Suburbans and Tahoes are on their way to a Suburban sale as big as Texas and rolling in to Mack Hike Chevrolet. You can buy a 99 Chevy Suburban loaded with options for only $2.98 a month. Just $42.50 down plus TTNL and $2.98 a month. That's a GMAC Smart Buy at Mack Hike Chevrolet. With your new Tahoe or Chevy Suburban, you're going to get that great Mack Hike feeling. Tonight, the Aggies have a huge game with second-ranked Nebraska. Texas goes to Dallas for the Oklahoma Sooners. The Cougars host Army. And, of course, the League Championship Series. It's all on Extra Points tonight at 6.30. From Africa to the giant screen come elephants like you've never seen them before. Africa's Elephant Kingdom, opening October 10th, only at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Call 713-639-IMAX for tickets.